Hi there, these comments are for MG and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer <coughs> of OTC online, TOEFLcourse.com, and you're doing the free TOEFL writing evaluation service, and I'm getting ready to look at your essay. So, should teachers be paid according to how much your students learn? Uh, your score here is four. <coughs> 4.0 out of 5 or 25 points out of 30. Okay, so I'll show you what my main suggestion is. So first of all, I think you have excellent control of your lang <coughs> language use. I'm going to change amount to number. That might be one change I might made. The number of hours they work because number is typically used with countdowns and amount is used with uncountdowns. For example, the students have a large amount of homework or they have a large number of homework assignments. So be careful about that word. That's a frequently uh, misused word in the English language. Um, okay, so we have the thesis, right? So teachers should be paid for the number of hours they <coughs> work <coughs> and also because one can put in insanely amounts of effort into something and still don't get the expected result. So it's that second idea, right? So if you look at the, the second point of your second paragraph, body paragraph, you have a student's capacity for learning doesn't always depend on the teacher, but the connection between that point in the thesis and then the point you're making in, the, in that paragraph, it's not clear. It's not consistent. So you can do a little bit better on the organization of your ideas. So that, that's my main suggestion. So make sure whatever you do in the thesis, right, and how you frame the thesis, make sure that the body paragraphs illustrate the purpose that was illustrated through that thesis. So that way you have a better connection or more unity of ideas. Okay, so your score here is uh, 4.0 out of 5, 25 points out of 30. Mainly, sometimes it's a little un unclear how certain ideas connect back to other parts of your essay.